So unless you've been living underneath a rock, you know that the government is going to be implementing new drone laws in June 1st. 2019. I did tons of research and in this video I'll tell you guys everything you need to know about these new laws. First things first you will need to register your drone on the Transport Canada website and it will cost you five dollars. You will have to register your drone if it weighs in between 250 grams and 25 kilograms and of course if you fail to comply with those rules you will need to pay a penalty of a thousand dollars so definitely make sure to mark your drone you will also need to take a drone pilot basic operations exam i heard the exam itself is pretty challenging because it has some questions that aren't even related to drones like they're about the canadian they're like canadian aviation rules so make sure to watch some tutorials i'll leave some in the description below they will tell you everything you need to know for the exam so that you aren't there struggling to answer these questions because like apparently 90% of the questions aren't even about drones. The exam will cost you $10 and you can attempt it how many times you want after 24 hours of writing it. So here are some of the basic rules that are going to be implemented on June 1st, 2019. You have to be at least 14 years of age or under the supervision of someone that is a certified pilot in order to fly a drone. You must be fit to fly, so basically no alcohol in your blood or no drugs within the past 12 hours. You must maintain VLOS at all times, which is basically you need to see your drone the whole time. You can't like fly it far away that you can't see it, you need to maintain a uh, visual line of sight at all times and fb goggles may only be permitted with a visual observer so if you're going to be using uh fpv goggles you will need to have a person with you watching so to make sure that you don't fly your drone into buildings and you can only fly your drone at night if it has visible lights I do believe before you aren't able to fly at all at night, so this is something new. So where can you actually fly your drone? The drone laws weren't really specific before, but now they're actually more specific. So you must stay 5.6 kilometers away from an airport or 1.9 kilometers from any heliports. You're not permitted to fly in a controlled airspace. You must be 30 meters from bystanders and you can't fly directly over people. These are some of the no-brainers. You cannot fly over any parades, concerts, sports events etc and you can't fly higher than 122 meters I actually raised that before it was 90 meters i do believe and you can't fly your drone in any parks in canada without prior agreement so like banff said that because i'm going there next july so you can't fly in any parks without prior permission so those are basically all the rules that you will have to abide by for me these rules are kind of limiting but they're a little better than they were before however however i think that the fact that you have to pay for your exam ten dollars you know they just want to make a little profit from us and obviously these rules aren't gonna stop people from doing stupid things so yeah hopefully they don't change the rules again in a couple of months after they realize that idiots are still gonna fly close to heliports airports etc so Anyways, that's my thought on that. Anyways, I'm gonna go take the exam now. I've been studying for the past week. Hopefully, I'm prepared. So let's go take the exam, and I'll show you guys the results and give you guys any tips if you guys want to write the exam. After an hour of writing the exam, I finally passed, and actually did pretty good to be honest. I got 74% on my exam and here's my pilot certificate i blocked out some important information all right guys now that i've successfully written and passed the exam i can give you guys some tips on when you're gonna be ex writing the exam and i can provide you guys with some information about the exam so they give you way more time than you will actually need on the exam they give you 90 minutes but i do believe i finished the test in an hour and then I just use the extra time to revise my answers make sure everything is correct. Some of the questions had to do with like a plane and some of the questions had to do with like brushless motors in the drones yet I had to google that like there's no way I would know like what makes up a brushless motor so you're gonna need to know those things and just be prepared to google a lot of the questions because a lot of them just you won't know you will need to google them. So I actually made my own study sheet it's about seven pages long and I only study that for the exam so if you guys like if we get if this video gets 50 likes I'll put the download link to the PDF of that study guide which I used so technically if you guys study that you guys should pass the test so if we get 50 likes on this video I will include the download link 
in the description below. But this is honestly all I can tell you guys, just the test is not easy, they give you more than enough time so you, you can google the questions if you want and honestly you just have to try your best and obviously if you don't pass the first time you can always try the next day. So I guess now I feel a little cooler when I'm flying my drone because I'm a registered pilot. So that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed, I will see you guys in the next one. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you enjoyed and you would like to get the if you like to get a free study guide so please check out my other content if you have the time i'll see you guys in the next one peace out